so uh, lead code practice time so in this video there are two goals the first goal is to see how to solve this problem and the second goal is to see how you should behave in a real interview so let's get started uh, the solution and then this interview so remember the first uh, step in the real interview is always try to fully understand the problem uh, if there is anything unclear, please bring up the question um, to the interviewer and uh, at the same time think about some match cases. So let's take a look at the question. Pairs of songs with uh, total duration divisible by 60. So you're given a list of the songs where i's song has a duration of time i. Uh, remember, sorry, return the number of pairs of songs for which their total duration in seconds is divisible by 60. So formally, we want the number of indices i and j such that i uh, is smaller than j with time i plus time j mode 60 as equal to 0. So um, I think that's uh, pretty clear uh, at this moment about the question. Let's see some constraints. So the time dollars is within 1 and uh, 60,000. So the input array is never going to be uh, empty. And also each time i is within 1 to 500. OK, so uh, I think uh, it makes sense. Uh, let's see how to solve this problem. So how to solve this problem? Um, I would say essentially what you could do is uh, you could have a for loop within another for loop to finish this problem, but that's not going to be uh, a very good solution. So instead, uh, what you could do is uh, you could have a hash map. So the key is uh, time divided by 60 and the value is a frequency uh, for this mod value to appear for uh, within the time array. And then after you get the hash map, uh, you can go through uh, go through each entry in the hash map. So for example, when you're saying key as twenty, you just need to find uh, the you just need to find uh, how many uh, times have the key as forty. So something like this, and. Uh, in this way, you can keep bringing down the runtime to be all of n and it's less of the input array. And uh, at the same time, uh, the runtime, the space complexity is just going to be constant because uh, the hash map, the size of the hash map would be no more than 60. Um, so having said that, let's do some coding work. So for coding, we care about the speed, the correctness, and the readability. So let's give it a shot. So first of all, uh, we will have the uh, integer integer as um, the time uh, free. Let's get let's call it time frequency uh, as new hash map. So we're going to say uh, time. Um, Say how to say that. Say time. I would just say this as times, and this is just a time. So uh, we are going to say time frequency dot add put. Um, uh, this is time divided by sixty, and uh, this would be time frequency dot uh, get or default um, time divided by 60 or 0 uh, plus 1. And finally, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to return uh, in, let's say, in count pairs as starting at 0. I would say um, in time uh, as uh, time frequency dot key set. So uh, if um, 
so if time is equal to so if time is equal to zero uh, yeah so if time is equal to zero uh, what then it would be something like uh, count pairs is equal to let's say frequency frequency is equal to uh, time frequency dot um, get uh, time and we are going to say count pairs is equal to plus equal to um, frequency uh, times uh, frequency minus one divided by two. Um, so essentially saying that um, we want uh, other pairs uh, that has uh, time as uh, multi multiple of 60. If we find that uh, the frequency for to compute the frequency uh, for for the pairs uh, that's generated by times uh, that has multiple uh, 60s, that is going to something like this. Otherwise, um, it means uh, it is not zero, or we can just put it as continue here. Otherwise, it is not uh, uh, multiple 60s. So we are going to define. Um, so we are going to say free one is equal to uh, time free frequency dot get um, uh, what is one time uh, and uh, free two is equal to time free c dot get or default uh, 60 minus time and uh, zero okay so you're going to say count pairs uh, plus equal to uh, free one times free two. So that's true. So let's say if there are two of the 20 and two of the 40. So we want all the pairs. So in that case, uh, so in that case, I think it should be right. And then finally, we are going to return count pairs. So after we are done with cloning, it's time to do some testing. So we just do some sanity check as if at first. So we say we have 30, 20, 150, 140. Uh, for this one, we will have the map something like uh, uh, 30, we will have 2, and 20, we will have uh, 1. And 40, we will have uh, two, right? Yes, so for this, um, here, if it is 30, so if it is 30, we also need to, I see, so if it is 30, is equal to 30, uh, then we also need to do something like this. And uh, for this one, uh, we are going to plus one on top of it. For this, uh, we are just going to plus. So if you're doing the 20 and 40, we just don't need to. So it will be like half of this, right? Let's say I just want to, for all the 20, I want to get a 40. But for 40, for four. After we get the 40, we also get all the 20s, which is not good. Uh, so, um, let's see. Yeah, so I think that should be mostly about the code. Let's see. Yeah, so it works. Um, yeah, so let me explain. If it is 0 or 30, then it's pretty much just a finding like for let's say for 30 if we have uh, music 1 music 2 so we only have one pair so it is frequency times the frequency minus 1 divided by 2 
And uh, why do we do the divided by two here? Because if we first get the tw 20 and uh, we need to get how many uh, music that has 40 uh, for the mod uh, 30. So we compute this as uh, one times two. When we find the 40, we also have the 20 thing. So actually, uh, every time we just divide it by two to make sure that the final answer is correct. Um, or it could be it could be something like uh, you just do everything, find all the pairs, and then we finally divide it by two. So that that should also work. Uh, because essentially we doubled that uh, when we do the comparison. Mm. Yeah, so let's give it a submission. I think it should work here. All right, so um, everything works at this time. Uh, so that's it for this coding question. If you uh, find this video a bit helpful, please help subscribe to this channel. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.